Good night, sir. Good night. How are you doing? I'm alright, sir. Uh, I've been good. Better than I was this morning. Mm -hmm. I have 100 dollars and beg down the road and get 50 dollars. Why you want to say? No, I'm alright, sir. I'm alright, sir. Alright, respect here. Hi, nice lady. Hold on, hold on. Then what do you do? I'm going to give him 100 dollars. God bless you, my sister. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing. I just mean, just 50 more. You can't do that, you can't do that. Yeah, but not everybody's as lucky as you, baby. I know that, darling. Yeah. It's just some God, God will bless you, you God will bless you. Just give me 50 million, please. Maybe you're always out of them things. Yeah. If you have 10, we will take it. I know, but oh gosh, he looks hungry. I am. No poor belly. Like, yeah. nothing for money. I can give it to you. Thanks. God bless you, yeah? Alright. Alright, man. I mean, he's young. He's young. He's young. We can go out and look at job, man. He's not be begging and watching people to be screaming and all of these things. Don't 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 worry about it. It's just a hundred dollars. It's just that is a lot of money. So, anyways, how was work? Work was good. Work was good. Work was yeah. Good. What yes. was so good about it? Well, Ted, I just found out that I might be getting a bonus. Nice. At work, yeah. So you know, we can always go on that cruise that we wanted to go on. A work cruise, you know. I can take it to Hawaii. I want to places, you know. That wouldn't be nice, yeah. but I think this year we might need to do something else with our money. Like? Like what? painting the baby's room. What baby's room? We don't have a baby. I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? Yeah, I went to the doctor. Oh I wasn't God. feeling good. I'm going so. to be a father. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be a father. Well, you know, I guess it's just time, right? Yeah, that's true, that's true. It's just time, so... We've been together a long time, so you know. Yeah. It's time for a family. I guess so, and it would be very nice. I mean, yes. you know, the house is kind of. Yes. Having a baby would be so much fun. Yes, true. Especially if she. And we have a big enough house for a room for the baby and so on. Yeah. You know, that's cool. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! It's time to go now. Oh, like, okay. Yeah.
doll. Actually, I'm just getting into work. So, I'll just call you from the landline. I'm going to my desk, okay? Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my deliverer. I know he delivers me. How do you know he God and gorgeous? I know he delivers me. A gentle attitude towards everyone. And give. So, this is what I'll practice today. There. So, let me just I'll show. Hey doll. Yes, I told that call you back. Right. So I was telling you about my Christmas preparations, right? So I have the ham ready. It's a four pounder. Of course, you know, we have to go larger, go whole. And did you know that True Valley is having a sale? OMG, they have the prettiest chairs. Yes. Girl, I went up there the other day. Of course, Mike, you know, he's trying to impress me. So he took me to True Value. So I've ordered some new chairs for the dining room and um, some throw pillows for the living room. Of course, you know, I'm probably gonna get a new fridge. I'm gonna have to paint, cause uh, you know, we're gonna be entertaining. And of course, my body is a temple of God. If he wants his temple, he's gonna have to work for it. Uh, hold on, Sharon. Uh, you stay right there, I'll, I'll come to you. <laughs> Afternoon, sister. Hi, afternoon. Oh, yeah. I'm blessed. And God, God, see, okay. I want to make people do a small favor for me. Uh, that I've been okay. walking up and down the road from morning. Uh -huh. Hungry, thirsty, the sun hot as you know. Okay. And just one of the sisters will be able to make up a brother without the smiles. Well, uh -huh. so a lot of people give me still, but you know, yes. they not really reach it. I see, I see that you've been blessed. Yes. Um, I'd love to bless you. I'm unfortunately not in a position to do so now. However, we do offer food. We mm -hmm. give food on a Thursday. Thursday at to the Tuesday. To, yes, I understand that. But a church, yeah. we, we do that on a Thursday. So that is not nine not to, No, we don't. Um, we don't have anything right back now. Back of here. I don't take the bus, I'm sorry. But um, no, 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 we don't. So on Thursday we'll so be happy have, to assist you. No food you okay. can eat? No. We don't have a shoot right nobody and we don't want to have nobody. And, no. and you have a servants of God on the street. So just like you're blessed now, you'll be blessed when you go yeah. back out. You know, get it, you know. And I can't make you on the road, you know. Oh, I don't want to do it, you know. I'm right. going to come and to the church. And I'm going to go back and say, give and you shall receive. Right. So that's, that's, like that's, we will give on a Thursday between 9 and 2. On a Thursday? Yes. So I must go back. You'll be blessed. Just have faith, pray, have faith. and you'll be blessed. Okay. All right, sister. All right. God bless you. <laughs> you too. All Take right. care. No party Christian, yes. You know. O M G. Oh. Hmm. So is a heavy holding Sharon. A beggar just came in here a while ago and I'm telling this man that I don't have any money and he's looking at my bag, you know something? Let me pick up the bag as well and put it on the board. You know, they keep telling me I must stop putting my bag on the desk. I mean, anybody can come in here. I'm telling the man that we offer food on a Thursday between 9 and 2 and he's asking me and telling me that today is Tuesday and he's hungry now. As if I have anything to do with that. I mean, what do these people want from you? Every time you try, it's like it's not enough. Oh Lord Jesus, take the weed. I mean, these people, I don't understand. What more do they want from us? Anyway, so as I was saying, right? So Mike wants me, he will have to be. 
So I'm thinking of something very elaborate, you know, just the Christmas part of the season, right? And you know, oh no, I don't see no little bonus yet. And I have my Brazilian here to buy, you know, that is $24,000, right? Plus, it's trust me, trust the ham, so I have to go pay for that. And of course, um, Mike is taking care of everything else. But I don't want to know these people don't send anything to me anyway. The Lord is my shepherd and my provider, and I am trusting that he will touch the heart of these people. Hallelujah. And I'm sure that I get my hair. Good evening. Evening. Good afternoon. Yes. I'm just here. Give me a minute. Come here, son. Yes, yes, quite so. Quite so. Right. Mm hmm. Good. I'm looking for Pastor's office. Just directly to Pastor's office. Careful with that. Uh -huh. I will. Mean, what can I ask this? No, what's this about? No, I'm just coming here. I'm I'm coming here to drop off the tights from today. Okay. Because I don't, I don't want it to stay till Sunday. Okay. All right. And this is the first door in the left. Is Thank you so kindly. All right. Oh, so, so, so. Of the ties from today. Afternoon, Pastor. Yes, it's Grandma. I just come to drop off the tide. Yes, just the tide. I bring the, the offering a different day. All right, Pastor. I've got, I've got a couple more boxes to go. Okay, yeah, so let's get all these boxes here in the back. When you are done, you need to go fast. And I can't uh -huh. go to the store. More boxes. Just a couple more boxes. Is she doing? How many times could that be? Jano, we can't feel this. Ring, ring. Ah! Hello? Yo, we find question in Miss Always Do Point Exam. The same answer him. It no makes sense to cheat. Cheating is wrong. But we still can't feel. So you think because I, I'm cool, eh, eh? You think because I'm this cool that you can you can just I heard you say cheat. Hmm? My ears are working perfectly fine, young man. And I am telling you, you, you're looking at this fancy television here with all the answers. Study your book. Mm. But when I was a young girl, I would study it. Because if you cheat, you're stealing answers. When I would study, I studied my book. If you if you study the answers, you don't know the answer. And if you don't study your book and you don't cheat, you still don't know the answer. What does the Bible say about 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 liars? Hmm? Because if you cheat a lie, you know, you're lying to the teacher and said no, your work, you don't know it. What does the Bible say? Thou shalt not lie. But it says, it says, thou shalt not, I should take my shoes off because you know the right thing. Eh? My orthopedic shoes almost dropped down a while ago. You see you? And, and do you need to study your book. Don't listen to that wicked and terrible friend who's telling you nonsense because all liars find their place in the lake of fire. Is that what you want? You want to burn? No. I have some matches. Do you want to burn? No, no. Do you want to burn? You have a decision to make. And I'm going to pass back around here. And you better make the right decision. You understand me? I don't want to.
on a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need and I don't want. Wait a minute, what is happening with this file? What is happening with this file? And every time I try to open this Burbank account requisition and acquisitions, land acquisition file, it just freezes up. I need some new computers. That's what I needed. That's what it, that is exactly what I forgot on my to-do list. Get office computers updated for the Christmas. Same thing. Stock. Everything stock. And I need to get into this file because they've been the, the numbers just don't add up. I know what I'm going to do. It's time. Where's my phone? Time to call O'Neill from Tech. Hello? Yes, is that O'Neill from Tech Support? Could you report to the main office, the uh, master office, please? This is Julia Cuthbert, Julia Dawn Cuthbert. Asking for some help? My computer is stuck again. Yes, I don't like to be waiting. I know you're going to hurry. Good, I'll see you in five minutes then. Absolute nonsense stuck and why is it upside down scrap this buy new computers for the christmas renovate office hi miss cuthbert hello o'neill hey. that was quick that was less than five minutes i'm impressed okay. but my computer is stuck again as you can see it was almost upside down. I don't know why that is. It's been doing that a lot lately. I have plans for the Christmas, but I'm going to allow you to have a seat. Take care of that. Unstick what is stuck. Mm -hmm. I'm going out to handle some business. I'm sure my tenants are here with their rent. All right? Okay. Good. All right. All right. Technological stuff. Okay. Just about finish here, everything is good now, so you can take a look. predicament. You see, I'll tell you a little secret. Yes. I have an employee, you see, mm -hmm. and he's a great employee, you know, mm -hmm. efficient, does his work on time, True. but he's been stealing money from the tailor. Oh, I see. And I know this because I caught him on camera. Camera, you see. Right up there. <clears throat> and I don't know what to do. What would you do in a situation like this? What would you do? Hmm. Well, um, I would definitely give him give him a chance. Yeah, that's what I would do. You would give him a chance. Yes, give him a chance. Mm -hmm. You would give him a chance. Most definitely, a chance. Yes. Do you find missing money amusing? Especially after what happened last year with Richard stealing 50 million US dollars 
from us. Fifty million US dollars. Fifty million US. <laughs> Richard T. Everything. <laughs> You think stealing money is amusing? Mm -hmm. Look at my face, O'Neill. Do I look amused? No, Miss Cuthbert. Do I look amused? No, because I'm not. Do you find stealing amusing, O'Neill? Mm. Neither do I. After that 50 million US dollar scandal, that Richard put us through last year. I don't find stealing amusing at all. I should fire you. And the only thing that is holding you in any position in this company is the mere fact that this is a season of forgiving. Amen, hallelujah. From a professional standpoint, your grand contribution to Cuthbert, Cuthbert, and Cuthbert is invaluable to the point that you are demoted to a base rank in this company so that you can work your way back and earn the trust that you have so willingly thrown away. O'Neill, we've been friends for so long. I was at your wife's funeral. Oh my God, and the poor baby. I understand that this is a hard time for you. And especially with the Christmas coming up when you're so lonely. But you're going to the point where you're gonna steal from me? O'Neill, me? A Sowetan? No, O'Neill. You could have come to me. I would have understood. Never leave post for care the meal. Get out of my office. No. Yes, child. So, how are things going with you? Oh, no, I see somebody coming in. So, let me just. Oh, it's O'Neill. All right, let me call you back. Hi, O'Neill. Hey. What's going on? Uh -huh. I hear something. Get demoted. I hear everything. Is what happened? Oh, yeah, that. The conversation that was going on. I was sending left here. You never did so quiet. Anyway, what money? Which money is that? I told you after I went in yesterday. So, my team come. Um, that you said Monday. We never tell you that. Yesterday, when I bought it, you said Monday. You never tell you that. Me. Yesterday, you bought the money, you said I give you back. Yes, um, on Monday. No, me. Me want my money. Listen to me, you need to calm down. You said. Me want my money. O'Neill, I can't believe that you are really behaving this way. We are supposed to be friends. Friends? Me mm -hmm. and you are good friend. You will cuss out and tell everybody this and that and that. You want me money. We want money. $250, O'Neill? Yes. You can't wait until money for $250? No, right now. It's not £250, you know. Let's just say. It's $250. No matter dollars. So what can that do for you? We can buy two patty and a bag juice. Simple. O'Neill, you eat patty? I yes. can't believe you eat patty. More than $250. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Yes. Anil, I don't have it. You'll get it on money. Go on, my money. Anil, I need you to lower your voice. Yes. Go on, my money. Anil, listen to me, man. Listen to me. This is unacceptable. This is not how friends behave. Friends, friends, my foot. Me say me want my money. You are come to when you're bag like say me have a thief. Anything ever could eat by the way. Well, I don't have it. Oh. So if you see it on me. Take it in Jesus' name. What did Jesus say to God is going on with you? On you?
No. No. And I will throw this. What the heaven almighty is wrong with you? You're walking to the place, you're picking fights? And what did I hear from Marsha out there? $250, you have a girl crying in her seat over. Unfold your arms when I'm talking to you. Odin, what was that noise I heard outside? Not this five minutes ago, we had this discussion. We had this discussion recently about you and this how you got in both head. You out there, I forgave you this almighty portion of our debt. And you're out there quarreling over 250 Jamaican dollars. Can't even buy two patty and a good bag juice. You are fired. There is no option. Over 1,000 US dollars. And I forgave you your debt. I forgave you your debt. 250 Jamaican dollars. Can't even buy $200 credit. You're getting vexed over the girl with it? Who is it? No, it is not working. Exactly. exactly. Pack oh. your bag and go. Good. You're stealing money and you're stealing money to feed your addiction, which is only an excuse to cover up that grief over the loss of your wife. I mean, O'Neill, I was at the funeral. As a matter of fact, I organized the funeral because you were too in shambles over her sudden departure. And you're out there fighting with Marsha over $250. Jamaican dollars. Hmm? Can't even quarter the gas tank. So you're effectively fired. And such a good friend am I as Christ would want me to be in this season of giving. That I have made arrangements for you to go to the private clinic where they can help addicts like yourself get over the addiction and you can get some grief counseling. After you've gotten yourself clean, sober, and employed, you will pay me back every cent of that 1,000 US dollars you stole. Yes, man, bugger you. I went WhatsApp everybody. O'Neill just got fired. L O L. Send. O'Neill get fired. Where is O'Neill? Why, O'Neill? The reason why I do all this is because I miss my wife. <coughs> I don't have her to wake up to in the mornings. I miss her soft boy. She used to sing to me and all these things. The reason I steal is to support my drinking habit. And, uh, I just miss my wife. She just left a hole in my heart and all that. I don't know, I don't know. Will you drink to forget? Yes, I do. Honey, you're not alone. Aren't you a Christian? Don't you believe in God? Especially now in the Christmas season, the whole purpose of Christmas. I mean, God gave his son so that we wouldn't have to suffer this anymore. I mean, sure, we'll miss our friends and I'm sure you miss your wife. She's a good friend great person and i miss her too but there are several programs out there that can help you with the grief can help you get over the addiction because the addiction is only a temporary fix it doesn't put her back in your arms it doesn't fill that hole that she's left doesn't do any of those things only jesus can give you comfort real peace and that takes time I can help you I'm not going to stop being your friend Christ came to set you free from that you believe he can help you and that will only happen in time and you're not alone you have friends you have people who care about you and that hole's gonna be there but it will get smaller and smaller and smaller till it's just a little bitty hole with a nice flower on it 
so you have happy memories of your wife and none of the pain that goes with missing her and losing her and you grieve properly this time and you're going to find a different job and you're going to pick up the pieces of your life with the help of Christ and continue yes right let us pray Heavenly Father close your eyes Heavenly Father we thank you that you are the giver and sustainer of life Good afternoon. Is there Miss Cuthburn here? Miss Cuthburn is waiting for you. First door on the left. Thank you. This is Cuthburn, is it not? Yes. Are you Michael McAllister? Indeed, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. McAllister. Please have a seat. Why, thank you. May I offer you anything to drink? Some Cristal de Lowe? It's quite fine. Okay. Now, as you're aware of my trip, it is strictly business. Hmm. And I'd like to speak to you about establishing my company on your property. Excuse me. piece of property that is the uh, OUR church is located on and they do in fact have first priority but what are you saying on every square inch of the streets in our country there is a church however what you do not have on every square inch of streets in our country is a therapeutic massage center a therapeutic massage parlor no 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 you've got it completely wrong not a parlor a center a therapeutic massage center oh so something like gen care in a sense ah but this particular location there's a church, the OUR church, has first priority because they've already established themselves on the property. Albeit it does belong to moi and they're renting it, but they do have first priority on the property. I'm sorry. Oh, you so. do know that this is Cuthbert, Cuthbert, and Cuthbert. And though one of my occupations as a barrister does lead me into land law, I'm sure that I can with no effort find you some more ideal land locations I'm pretty sure that for the spread that I'm thinking about for a therapeutic massage park <coughs> center you're gonna need something more metropolitan that piece of land is more for the church yeah would you say but I, I, I'm not getting this quite clear you see, the vicinity that the proper that the plot is in is a very well-known area to establish my business. And if I may say so myself, it is very economical. All right, Mr. McAllister. I'll have a look at that document a second time. Oh, quite. But I can't promise anything. Do. And I have said that the church does have first priority and with the down payments that they've been making over the last few years I'm sure you can understand that unless you can match or outdo that upfront price then I really can't say much other than to offer you assistance in a different location. Mrs. Cuthbert. Yes. I'm quite sure you can Take her some time to look over those documents. And might I say, I can think 
offer many reasons for you to change your mind. A million? A million things. <coughs> uh, if you'd be so kind as to give me a few minutes, I'd like to uh, assess the legalities of this operation. Uh, this, uh, the, you know, the fine, you're right in the paperwork and the litigation, section 44, subsection D, litigation number 45, people versus coal. We wouldn't want an upheaval scandal like that. Uh, Please, One take million reasons to look at it again. Take your time, oh. Mrs. Cockerbell. Have a nice day. I'll see you in a few minutes. I would suggest that you have a word with the secretary about making another appointment. I'll do that. Thank you so much. It's nice doing business with you. I'm sure we'll be in touch. The secretary, right there. Okay. Okay. You're crazy. No, my dear man. No, she's not. No, Jesus, 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 Jesus. I want million US dollars if I give me ideas about ten a lot. One million, no Jesus. So where, Je no, Lord, look here, look here, Lord, 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 Jesus, Jesus, Lord. Why this looks so suspicious? Jesus, Jesus, it's high time. We've been we've been talking for so long. It's time for Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Can I offer you a glass of water? I mean, I'm, I'm <clears throat> so not going to let it spark Jesus, Jesus, well on it. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Wait a minute, Lord. You're, yes, call him and here he is. Call out the name. Ball is out. The name of Jesus. A one. Million US dollars the man have right as energy over a therapeutic. You know what people have broke back and, and, and sore foot and, and need them crusty food, they like a rub down and, and take away the deal. What happened last year? How much money did it take from you? I, 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 I've never met Michael McAllister in my life. Let me remind you they took 50 million US dollars from you. Didn't I restore it all back to you? Yes. So how come you're frightened over like one million dollars, madam? It's cause it's Christmas time and you know what you can do with one million US on Christmas time! Listen to me. I am the giver and the sustainer of life. Mm -hmm. Alright? Mm -hmm. The earth is mine and the fullness thereof. Right, right, right. So, I am the provider, alright? Right, you right. You trust right. in me, right? Well, absolutely. Just keep your ears open, right? Keep my ears open? Just keep your ears open. You, you mean it's full of wax? You can't see it? It's dirty? I know everything. Lord, I, know, what you think? I know every hair on your hair. Right. Um, I know this isn't real, but it's just so much easier to manage. And I will definitely keep my ears open because that sounds very cryptic, but I will keep my ears open. Be anxious for nothing. I have everything under control. Alright, Julia? Yes, Jesus. I won't be anxious for nothing. And I'm going to keep my ears open. And you always provided. And you will always provide. And this is nothing. Another. This is nothing. Good evening, and now the news. The National Security Minister and the Commission of Police yeah, have released a joint evening. statement warning all realtors and other persons involved in the sale and acquisition of land to be vigilant and proceed with extreme caution as there are unscrupulous persons committing fraud as members of the human trafficking ring. These persons will appear to be setting up therapeutic massage centers and are led by a man known as Mr. Michael McAllister. He has other aliases including Big Daddy Sugar, Mr. Biggs, Jonathan Bigger, among others. The public is being advised that any person with information about this man is to contact 119 or your nearest police station.
In other news, a production title about that life is being held now at the main sanctuary of Christ Alive Christian Center, and the public is being advised to enjoy. That's it for the news. I'm Tiffany Brandon. Good evening. Hello, Marsha? Yes, you can let Mr. McAllister know that I'm ready for him. Okay, thank you. Right. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. McAllister. Again, have a seat, have a seat. Thank you. You know, I have been thinking as a barrister or a law officer, <laughs> I was going through the fine print of this and I just realized that I needed to uh, understand a few clauses here. Oh, this a call me an idea, man. No, the number, yeah. That your name is uh, Michael McAllister, is that it? Yes, why so? Eh? No, never again. Okay. <coughs> right. And you are in the massage, I'm sorry, therapeutic massage pa <coughs> Therapeutic massage, what is it? Centered? Mm hmm. And that you'd like to open one at this particular location here on this That's table. That's the idea. Right. And your staff members are all handpicked by head of quarters. Quite so. All right. And you're going to be running the business Indeed. yourself? Yes. Uh, all right. Do you have any other aliases? Any other signatures? I'm seeing oh. here that there's a Mr. Jonathan. I'm going to serve the massage in idea, yeah. All right. Bigger? No, no, no. No, I, I'm totally. A, I'm not a, yes. No. I, I'm a business. Oh, Come all on. right then. Just making sure. Yes. And thus, Mr. McAllister, can I have your signature at the bottom there, please? Very well. Yeah, Chief. Good afternoon to you, sir. Pleasure to be good afternoon. Um, I just received some information. Re a guy there involved in some unscrupulous activities. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will be proceeding to see him, sir. Yes, and I, I'll, I'll proceed to see him and arrest that said offender there. Yes, sir. All right, sir. I'll give you the full details when I get to you, sir. All right, sir. Same to you, sir. Yeah. Lovely. And don't worry, my office will take care of all the proceedings. <laughs> and so. Alright. Thank you so much for coming in today, Mr. McAllister. Oh, yes, so we have all the documents here ready. Sign all the keys have been crossed. All the eyes have been dotted. And everything is in order. Yes, okay. It's always a pleasure to do business with you, Mr. Big. Indeed, Mrs. Cuthbert. And I'm sure that we'll see you again. Thank you so much for coming, Mr. Big. Yes, Mrs. Cuthbert. Alright, take care. Don't 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 think I don't hear about you. Hey! Put your back here, man. Where are you? Big. Big, I don't know what one name. Where are you? Bigger. Bigger. Oh, well, bigger. What is your name, sir? Jonathan Biggs. Oh, Mr. Jonathan Biggs, hear me now. We're going to go down to the station with you. And all of those guys down there, Carter and him friends, will know what to do with you. So come, get up on your knee, boy. Get. Hey, hey, so, oh, hey. Man, get up on your No, shuffle it up. No, shuffle Hey, hey, I'm going to go for I'm going to go for Hey, I will chalk you out here, you know. I will chalk you out here. Get up on your knee, boy. Come. 
Get on that stage, shut me up. Are you setting me up? Come on, you kidding me. Careful. Call the general and tell him what I want in that place, you know. Big boss, me have the man in custody, man. The man I call him out here. Yes, sir. I'm bringing him down there now to you, sir. Yes, sir. And just prepare the piece of peacock stick that you have in the office there. Yeah, man. Polish it down. Because we're going to give him some good lick. Yes. All right, chief. We'll be there shortly. I'm not so with time when I'm so with time. Good morning. I said good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That's great. It's great to be in the house of the Lord today. Amen. Can I get an hallelujah? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Today we have a special guest in the house of the Lord today. We'll be delivering our word. So let's put our hands together for Pastor Morris. He's from Smithsville, Manchester. Let's put our hands together and give a warm welcome to the man of God. Good morning, church. Good morning, Pastor. It's certainly an honor for me to be here this morning to share the word of God with you. This morning reading will be taken from the book of St. John, chapter 13, and verse 34. Here in this chapter, we see the Lord Jesus Christ admonishing us that we should love, not just in December, not just at, at Christmas as we put it, but love 24-7. It says, a new command I give to you. Love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples. So if you are walking in love, will you be backbiting in a church? Hypocrisy. Stinginess, you know? Yeah, I love the poor. We give, we feed the poor. Oh yes, but only on a certain day. What if Jesus was the same? You know, the multitude is here and they're hungry. But we can't feed them today. And in fact, let me tell you what happened to me. Before I got saved some five years ago, oh yes, I used to walk the street, you know, beg. And so I went to a church. One bright Tuesday morning, around 9.25. Somewhere around here. Hungry. Tear up shirt. No shoes for my feet, right? Nothing in night for man. I just need a little smile to make up the thing. Remember, we're talking about the love of God here. But what? I went there, this nice looking young lady. Love the young lady. I went in and good morning, you know, just asked her for a smile. I remember the day like it was yesterday. I just wanted to buy a cocoa bread and party in a shrimps. And she said, Well, sir, we do feed the poor. But, on a Thursday. On a Thursday, what if Jesus was to tell the multitude, well, you're hungry now, but I know I can't provide for you now, tomorrow. That's right, Pastor. That's right, Pastor. Hallelujah. Give it again, sister. Amen, Pastor. Glory. Hallelujah. Huh? Where's the love in the church? Love is not a one-day thing or when we feel like. That's right. Love is an everyday thing. If we're walking in love, then truly we know that we're being led by the Spirit of God. Can I hear the church say amen again? Amen! Hallelujah. 
So if we're walking in love, people will know that we are Jesus' disciples. Too often we proclaim that, oh, we are Christians. But our neighbors, our friends, our very families, what would they say? And what would they say? Would they say, oh, we want to show love at Christmas? Or do we show it from January to the end of the year? That's right, boss. So, my friend, in closing, we go back to John 3, verse 16. Everybody know that verse, even the babies from heart. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So let us show love and give because Christ. We bless the church. May you all stand with me. And Bobby is as a close friend. Father God, we thank you. We bless you, Lord God, and you love us so much that you give, for oh God. Help us to give and to forgive, Lord God. Help us to truly walk and know what it means to be in love, oh God. Let us be, oh God, your love sticks that go around, burning like a candle, Lord God, touching others and lighting the path. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Earthly wealth and worldly pleasures come before me every day, although I'd be putting up a resistance, they keep standing in my way. I'm trying to walk the straight line, but I can't do this by myself. I surrender, I'm the clay in your hands. I just want to be just like you. I just want to do the things you do. Stay close beside me every day. Help me to walk the narrow way. I just want to be just like you. I just want to do the things you do. Stay close beside me every day. Help me to walk the narrow way. Him. And you know you want to bless God. You know you want to bless Jesus by following His word. And the commandment specifically said, "Thou shalt not what." I'm waiting for an answer. Cheat. Thou shalt not what? Cheat. Lie.